Hello Pile One, welcome to your reading today. I love that you guys have clicked on my Minor Arcana series because I got really inspired to do the four piles based on the four suits in the tarot cards. So we have wands, which you have picked for your um, video today. And I love wands because wands symbolize fire and fire signs, which is why I also picked my golden aura necklace that you can see that I'm wearing for you and that you can um, see closer up in that earlier part of the video in the pick a pile section. But what I love about this is for fire signs, you or your person may be a fire sign or have fire strong in your or their charts. So the fire signs are Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So you or your person may have strong um, zodiac signs of that in your chart somewhere. So welcome to all my fire sign babies. I am going to put this wand here in frame so you guys can see it. Yes. And that will get it out of, um, out of the playing field, but at the same time, you guys can, can see it. Yes, there we go. You also picked this really cool, I wanted to match it with the wand, and then I also wanted it to look a little fiery. It's not as fiery as I would normally do. This is most fiery. But I figured, you know what, it's kind of like a soft fire. So we have the Star Child Tarot, and I love there, the pink in it. I feel like that matches my romance wand. So today we're going to be shuffling the tarot cards and some oracle cards, and we are going to see what are their thoughts of you today. Now, see, you can see my little Aries, who just jumped up on the table. Aries are a very impulsive sign who are childlike and eager and adorable, <laughs> you know, sometimes. <laughs> and they definitely leap for first before they think. So that might represent you or your person. <laughs> he is also a very mischievous little boy, but his name is Lucky, and I'm sure that if you guys are no stranger to my channel, that you guys have seen him around. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do six cards and I'm going to do this new thing I've been doing lately where I'm going to have all the cards face you so that you guys can see them as easiest as possible. Oh, I love this. Okay, I just want to say before I even do the row, you guys, your person with their thoughts of you today is I love this stable relationship card with the Hierophant. It seems like your person would like to have something stable and solid. We love to see it. Now we have Hanged Man, which is perspective. Magician, which is so good. I love it. They're manifesting you. They're manifesting a relationship. The lovers. Oh my gosh, you guys. Your person is like pretty. I want to say infatuated with you. But the thing is, is I don't feel like infatuated is the right word. Because infatuated is like... A fantasy it's just the heightened euphoria of chemicals and feelings but your person with the lovers and the hierophant like they're serious that's not just like a infatuation but I love it and then also look at this ace of crystals it literally looks just like my necklace for you so that's very very cool shout out to the Leo's this is definitely my Leo power necklace I don't have Leo in my chart, but I do have Leo, well I do, but um, Leo is my north node. So the north node in astrology, you guys, is your destiny planet or the, or the aspect in your astrology chart that you're meant to go towards and follow um, for you to kind of maximize your spiritual growth and your destiny. And it's a new area that you guys are meant to explore. So in your astrology chart, if you look to see where your north node is, that is your destiny planet and if you look at your south node, that is what, what you've already mastered um, that you bring in this lifetime as a gift. And that you not to get too stuck in that energy, but to move towards your north node in life. Uh, it's very similar to all of my people watching from India. Um, it's very similar to Vedic astrology with the Rahu and the Ketu, where you're meant to go from a past life energy into your destiny. So I love how Vedic astrology and Western astrology connect in that way. 
But for you guys, I love the Hierophant. This is an incredible card for relationships. They're definitely thinking about having a relationship with you. I love the Hangman with the Perspective card, which is so great. So they have a really good perspective. They are not changing their mind. They are unwavering um, in regards to wanting a relationship. And if they have been stuck before, I feel like they definitely have... Wow, okay. Um, that's great. King of Coins. They definitely are not stuck anymore, and they definitely know how to progress. Hi! Okay, you guys. That's my other Aries. Okay, I have to say all three of my cats are Aries. I don't know if I lucked out or if I got cursed, but they're very cute. Um, so I love the Magician. This is great for manifestation. And I feel like that in this, in this situation here, that they're thinking about how to manifest you because they deeply love you with the Lover's card. So this is fantastic. Also, for you guys, we have, if you're watching this at the time this video has been filmed, which I believe I'm probably airing this in the month of Leo, which happy power sign month to my baby eight Leos, um, happy birthday, is basically, um, what's so interesting about this is I feel like with Jupiter being in Aries for this summer and early fall for 2020, that Aries, Leos, and Sagittarius's are all benefited by the planet Jupiter, which is Sagittarius's ruling planet. And you guys are all having like extra luck and abundance right now, which is so cool. Now, this is a timeless reading. You can watch this later. And then Jupiter will be probably in a different sign for you, most likely, because Jupiter stays in Aries until October of 2022. But then it goes back into Aries. So if you're watching this at all in 2023, it goes back into Aries for the majority of the year, except for when it moves into Taurus a little bit during the summer. So it's a very cool situation for all of my fire signs. You guys definitely are due for some really good luck. Um, and it does seem like for you, your luck is in love. Um, I love the Ace of Crystals or Ace of Coins because your person wants to give you a very tangible, concrete offer. And I get the King of Coins, which is literally great because this represents how your person is the most committed out of all the Zodiac sign cards in the deck. So that is fantastic. Bye, baby. So I love this King of Coins for you. So I love the King of Coins for you. This is a very, very, very committed romantic partner. You guys get all the major relationship commitment cards that you can. So your person is thinking so strong. All right, I'm going to get some further clarification cards with these. I almost don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. I almost want to like end here and be like, and scene. <laughs> Literally, it can't get better. So let's get some more details for you though. Okay. It can get better. <laughs> I lied, apparently. Uh, Knight of Cups, most romantic card in the deck. So loving it. And that goes on the marriage card or the Hierophant, the strong, stable relationship card. So good. Um, what's connecting the hangman or new perspective is six of coins. It seems like they're finally going to be able to be financially generous and be a provider for you. And so therefore that is fantastic for you because that's like, that's really what gave them the courage and confidence to really be able to make this commitment real and tangible. And that's amazing. I get the magician card. So with that pairing with it is the page of fire. Literally, you guys, this is your sign card if you're a fire sign. If your person's a fire sign, then this is not, this is, this is not you. But, well, I mean, in this spread, it's also you. But they're looking at you like a fire sign princess. So I love the princess of fire. They look at you just somebody like beautiful, sexy, incredible, like a magnet. It's great. The lover's card is clarified by eight of coins. I feel like this is love that is consistent. It's something that's been built over time. Your person has probably been with you for a while or has loved you for a while. So the eight of crystals or eight of coins is like the same amount of something each week, usually money. In this case, I believe it's like the same amount of consistent love each week. Your person is not going away. They're not changing where they fall out of love with you. This is not... You know, and the thing is, is because fire signs can be um, very fickle because like as an example, some Aries can love the chase where they will pursue you to win you. And when they have you, they can get bored and they can lose interest, especially if you're 
very serious with wanting to settle down and then they interpret that as, or they feel smothered or they feel like it's clingy or they need their space or they want to leave. So the thing with fire signs is like, as you saw with my little fire sign cats, it's like they're like impulsively eager jumping in and then they go off somewhere else. <laughs> and so that can be, if your person um, is a fire sign, that can be their normal personality. But with you, it's different, which I love. If you're the fire sign and they are the stable one, then I would say, well, you guys got something on your hands where they are really in this. And I hope you're really in this. You don't have to be, but they are. <laughs> so your person loves you and has loved you for a long time. I get with the Ace of Crystals. I get the moon. So the moon is cool. The moon is all about, you know, feeling strong feelings emotionally. They may get very overwhelmed when it comes to money and finances. The moon can, you know, the, basically the ace of coins, money can make your person very emotionally confused or very scared or nervous, um, that kind of thing. So I feel like that because they got that six of coins, that, that money where they can provide for you, that changed their perspective and now they feel safe to be able to be romantic and have commitment and really manifest you in and they feel confident now to be able to have you or to pursue you or, or that, especially because with the lovers, that's cemented with the eight of coins. Like when their money is stabilized and solid each week, they can love you. They can be there. It's like the luxury of, like the, the survival energy has been pacified, it's been soothed. Now they have the luxury of being able to entertain their emotions and their love, which has been there the whole time. And so with the Ace of Coins, which is beautiful, um, now that they have this stable money in their hand, it's like it satisfies their need for financial security and it calms down their emotional fears. So that is awesome. With the King of Coins, I get the universe, which is the world. So I feel like your person wants to give you the whole world and more. So this is so beautiful. I'm so happy about this, you guys. Congratulations on your beautiful love. Let's see more about what they're thinking about you today. So I will put you, it's too far to reach over that way. I'm just going to put it down. Um, let's start and go over. All right. So we're going to go from the tarot. And we're going to look at some fairies and we're going to clarify the piles. I was doing this actually in my rings video that I posted. I filmed it yesterday, but I posted it last month. <laughs> um, so I did it in this section, this kind of structure, and I love it. Um, I love how we can further get details based on each category or each pile. I think it's so helpful. Wow, you guys, I am not surprised. Like with the Hierophant, sometimes I hesitate to say the word marriage just because um, it can give people false hopes if they're not there. Like if their person is just wanting to have like, like an official relationship commitment, but not a marriage commitment, they're not ready to like, ready to like walk down the aisle, then I would say like that can be sometimes misleading. So I try not to say the word marriage unless I feel like it could be really there, but I mean, with this Hierophant, I was getting strong marriage energies with the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups and the Magician and the Lovers and the King of Coins, like all the major relationship marriage cards. And what you got with the fairies is you guys literally got the marriage card. So that is amazing, you guys. I love this for you. So, 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 so good. So yeah, and that, that connects to making you a financial offer, which when I saw that, I actually felt proposal. But then I was like, again, don't like mislead them. Um, some of them watching are not at that point in their relationship yet. But I would say that if you guys aren't there yet, your person is future forwarding. Your person, their thoughts of you today are of this. So your person is thinking about, you know, marriage, kids, wedding bells, all the whole nine yards. Because I get that proposal with the ace of coins is marriage with the marriage card. So that's amazing. And I wouldn't normally think that, except that all the other cards also support that. So that's strong. Um, when it comes to the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups, I get debt paid off. Your person now feels like they're free and clear. They may have officially paid off some debts 
or they might feel like your person and you um, are, you know, no more karma, no karma with other third party relationships, just feeling free and clear to be able to pursue this beautiful love. So that is amazing. Um, I get the ask for what you want with the six of coins. Oh my God, your person wants to buy you anything they possibly can. They might be feeling like King or Queen Midas right now. So your person wants to buy you like anything you can. So with the six of coins, it's like they have like finances they want to give you or provide you. They want to give you a present. So ask for what you want. Kind of like when somebody says like, hey, what do you want for your birthday? Hey, what do you want for your for Christmas? What do you want for Hanukkah? Like, what do you want for your holidays? This is literally like, this is what the situation is for you guys. Um, and if you're watching this during Leo month, it makes sense because Leo month is super generous, all about giving and receiving love in every possible way. So that might be why your person is so romantic right now, but it's not a flaky, um, kind of like hot or cold energy. This is like, yes. Um, so I get the sun, which is a child when it comes to princess of fire and magician, your person may want to have two kids with you, a boy and a girl. So the princess of fire and then the sun. So your person may be like, I want to have two kids with pile one. I get the travel card. So with the eight of crystals and the lovers, this is very beautiful. So your person may want to take you on a, a romantic holiday, romantic getaway way. They have the money to be able to pay for it. And they definitely want to have romance with you and travel. So maybe a honeymoon even. Um, and again, the marriage card. So that's cool, which we talked about. And then express your individuality with king of coins and the universe, which is the world. So your person just loves who you are. Your person is like, I will never, ever, ever find another pile one anywhere else ever, ever in the world, ever in the world. You are the most unique individual in the whole world. And your person is like, I got to wipe or husband that down because I will never find another pile one no matter where I look no matter where I go. So that is what is so beautiful. That's where your person is like, they're the one. They're absolutely the one because I will never find another one like pile one in the whole world. And now I'm ready. This is like fairy tales and unicorns and rainbows, honestly. I'm literally loving this so much for you guys. Okay. Now we have romance angels. I want to see what your person thinks and feels about you today. So, healing family issues. So, it seems like another reason why they've gotten so ready is because they have done a lot of healing. Maybe your person's been in some great therapy. Maybe they've gotten some amazing Reiki. Maybe, for whatever reason, they have burned a violet flame candle and they have healed some karma with their family. But your person is free and clear of family emotional baggage. Wow, that's amazing because literally we all wish our people are like free and clear of our family's baggage. We wish we were free and clear of our family's emotional baggage and generational traumas. So, so amazing. Your person has done the work. Good job. Um, literally, this is what I said. Okay, this can be the one. They feel like you're the one. So that is amazing. And they have that, this perspective now. So this is beautiful. And asking for what you want might also be that they're feeling confident to ask for what they want, which might be your hand in marriage. So there is that. And if your person is in a situation where you are the one that would propose the marriage, they may want you to ask for what you want. They're hoping you might ask for them to marry you. So there is that. Um, I get magician, princess of fire, the sun, and let go of control issues. So I do feel like that with your person, that your person feels like they may have been trying to make this work really hard um, because they love you so much and they're so committed. But I also feel with the magician and the let go of your control issues, I feel like your person with the manifestation energy is trying to like let go of control, just surrender and let you guys be together. So there is this. And also when it comes to like a son and a daughter, I feel like that your person may say like, I'm manifesting, I wanna have a girl and a boy with you, I wanna have two kids with you one day. We don't have to control when it will happen, we don't have to do it immediately today, we don't have to plan it out so rigidly, but I do want to have this with you, so whenever it happens, it happens. Maybe we can, you know, cons you know have sex without birth control, and if we get pregnant, we get pregnant. So kinda like this energy. 
Um, so I get the past life relationship with travel and the lovers. You guys might actually take a trip to somewhere that you guys were in love together in a past life, which is so romantic. So if you guys feel like you guys had a past life in Egypt, or you guys feel like you had a past life in France, or you guys feel like you had a past life in China, you guys might take like a romantic getaway trip to there. And in a past life, you actually did live there with your person and you guys were in love. So I feel like you guys might make like almost like a spiritual past life pilgrimage to where you guys were in love, which is so cool. Um, I get the marriage, the moon, and the ace of coins with stay optimistic about your love life. They are so optimistic you guys can get married. They are like so sure that they can make this happen. They have unwavering faith. And which might be how they're getting you because when you manifest, you're supposed to have unwavering faith, which is a little unrealistic when we're human and we have anxieties. But it does seem like they're doing a good job with it. Express your individuality, king of coins, the universe, getting to know each other. So I just feel like they just want to know every single quirky piece of beautiful part of your personality and who you are. I feel like they just love getting to know all the little details, all the little beautiful things that make you who you are. And I love getting to know and unpack all of that. So that is so cool. Now I'm going to look at the Stellar Energy Oracle and we're going to see what are they feeling for you right now. So. I feel like pile one, you guys are like the honeymoon pile. <laughs> you guys are the marriage pile. I love this for you. Okay. So wishing well. I feel like they just feel like this relationship is going so well or that it can go so well. I love this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, literally on the this could be the one I get happy ending card. It's this, this stuff like, I feel like it writes itself. <laughs> this is amazing. Moving forward, what a surprise. They would like to move forward with you and they may want to move forward with you at wanting to conceive children soon or that kind of thing. Um, then I get interesting. Past life relationship, I get paralyzing fear. I feel like your person might have been too scared to pursue this connection in a past life when you guys were in love because of society or whatever it was or maybe you lived too far apart in a past life with the travel card and you couldn't get to each other and that might be why they feel so motivated to be with you now almost like they're just so compelled to be with you now because you guys weren't able to be together before because I get paralyzing fear with past life so I feel like in a past life maybe they were just too afraid to do it but now they are not afraid anymore which is so beautiful because that's the only card that's negative in this whole thing and that's connected to past life. And with debt paid off, they may have had karma in regards to fear and commitment in past lives and now it seems like they are able to, to move forward with you free and clear with no blocks because they have transmuted that, which is great. Especially with the hangman perspective, changing perspective. Um, so I get sweet dreams which is stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like they're very optimistic. You guys can make your dreams come true while being together. So that's great. And then the getting to know each other card is judgment call. So I do feel like that they are just, you know, they're just really, really, I feel like they're ready to like go get that marriage license <laughs> or they're really thinking about it one day. So I love that with the legal situation, making some good choices and good decisions. So your person is so incredibly serious about you. It's amazing. Um, I'm looking at the time. I feel like we basically have time to do some hermit tarot messages and some ocean of emotion, and then we will wrap up. So I'm going to do six hermit tarot messages. So this is what your person would say to you, what they're thinking about you, what their thoughts are of you today. I am coming trust not a surprise pile ones person we already knew that if you if I asked you to stay would you leave with happy ending and this could be the one they may have a slight slight worry of relationships not working out 
I feel like they're wondering if you would be as committed as they are. I think they're curious to know if you would, um, you know, want to be with them for the whole lifetime too. With Strength Ego, this is a Leo card. So again, your person may be a Leo. Um, and I feel like, again, they're ready to move forward with you. Also, we are in the month of Leo right now. So it might, when you're watching it, if you're watching it when I post it. <laughs> so it might just be that they're just like, Ready. They just know and they're ready. And then I get the Hermit Tarot. I want to get you drunk. <laughs> so I do get with this, they want to party with you. I feel like they're really ready to like have fun with you and enjoy being with you, especially on the travel. They might want to like go on like a cruise, like a champagne cruise or something like that. Like they might want to go to like some romantic travel getaway where there's partying and drinking and fun and all that. Um, I get I would do anything for you with this card, which is amazing with staying optimistic about your love life. It seems like they definitely would <laughs> from these cards for sure. And then I get think before you act, which is judgment. So they're wanting to make good judgment. I do feel like they have thought a lot about this before taking action on this. And I feel like they're thinking a lot about this today. So that is incredible. For Ocean of Emotion. Ooh, interesting, these flip out. If they have done something, they are sorry and they are so much healthier now. So you may ask, like be watching this reading because you're curious like, are they really, really, really as serious about me as they are proclaiming to be? And I feel like in these cards, yeah. Because it seems like maybe they weren't as committed before or maybe they gave you mixed messages even if they feel felt emotionally very strong for you because it seems like they are sorry about something or maybe it wasn't their, their actions or feelings about commitment. Maybe it was just some other stupid thing that they might have done. But it does seem like they said that they're very sorry. Please forgive them. Um, I'm becoming my best self healthy. That's my third Aries cat. <laughs> so I get healthy. They are becoming their best self. I feel like they think this could be a very healthy relationship. I get bored. So they may feel in their life like they are bored with life because they've achieved now everything materially that they can and all that's left is to achieve is to be with you and it's not a conquest with these cards either this is definitely like a mature building so this is great and i get transformed which is very cool so it says i'm not the same person anymore so if you do remember this person as being out of alignment in some way or just not being as sure as they are now, this is confirmation for you that they are healthy, that they have transformed it, and they're sorry if they've ever showed up to you in a way that was not um, their best self. And I get dark and it says, I'm afraid you're not going to want me if you see the truth. So I feel like for them, they may be just wanting to make sure that you love all of their sides all of their flaws, all of their positive things, all of everything. So they're just really hoping that you can love all of them. And then courage, I think I can fix this. All right, so you guys might be watching because you're, maybe your person did mess up a little bit in some way. Maybe your person feels like they judge their own um, shadow self and it seems like they're trying to you know, show up to you in a way that's perfect. Maybe you guys love a Virgo. There is a lot of earth sign energy and seriousness. Um, so it does seem like maybe they are focused on their own perfection and they're feeling like, wow, okay, I need to be perfect for pile one. And they don't have to be perfect. But it does seem like maybe they did do something that kind of messed up a bit, but they do seem extremely serious about you. And it seems like they're not going to like change their mind on it. So it does seem like you can kind of rely on it and you can trust it. So that is what I have for you, my beautiful pile ones. Thank you for watching my minor, minor arcana series with the wand, wands or rods in the tarot deck. So thank you for watching. I'm so happy for you. Of course, you have a beautiful love life because you picked my romance wand with the rose quartz, with the garnets, with the rhodochrosites, with the rondonites. It's so beautiful. And of course, this huge clear quartz. So amazing, amazing, amazing. I wish you the very best with your person. If you feel like this pile didn't resonate with you, feel free to pick another pile. Also, if one of you are a wands, if one of you are a fire sign, and the other of you are a different element, you might want to pick a different pile to get some more information. 
but I would say this is absolutely very, very strong. And I wouldn't, I haven't filmed the other piles yet, but I can pretty much vouch you probably won't get a better reading <laughs> because I think the other ones are not going to be as consistently marriage, but, um, you may want to check anyway, if you want to, you might want to watch the other like, um, elements for the coins, the pentacles necklace or the coin necklace. That would be if you or your person are an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If you guys want to pick the cups, the chalice, that would be if you or your person is a water sign. And so that would be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And if you wanted to pick the Selenite sword, that would be for um, you or your person being a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, if you did like this video, I would love for you guys to put down in the comment section what you liked or maybe which pile you picked or if you picked the um, wands pile. Um, that would be very cool. Um, if you guys did like it, I'd love for you guys to like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I have all sorts of cool series coming up in the future I can't wait to help channel your person with. I have some French videos. Um, they're in English, <laughs> but I'll be in France and I'll be filming in France. So we will definitely um, air some of those. You might actually be watching this video while I am in France. We don't know <laughs> when I will be airing this, but I'll probably be airing this the end of July, beginning of August. So right before I go to France. Um, but I'll be filming in France for you. And then in November, I'll be filming in the Caribbean for you. I might even have a chance to film in New York and film in um, Boston for you. We'll see, because those are my layovers. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, so if I can, I will, just for you guys, as always. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I will see you guys soon. And I feel like I don't even have to wish you love and luck because you got it all. So have fun with your person. See you later. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pile twos. Welcome to your reading today. You have picked my beautiful coin necklace which on it, it says Republique Foncée, which I love that it's French because I love everything French. Uh, you or your person may have connections to Europe or to France. Um, what's beautiful is coins. Um, you or your person may have coin sign energy because this is my Minor Arcana series or pick a pile card video. And this is basically each, basically it's like every suit of the tarot cards correlates to a zodiac sign element, which is great when you're wanting to predict time frames or see when things happen. So for the coins, this connects to earth sign people. So you or your person may have heavy earth sign energy in your charts. So the earth signs are the Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorns. So you or your person may be an earth sign or may have strong earth sign placements in your chart. Um, you also have picked this gorgeous malachite. So pretty. I love it. I feel like it's very earthy, you know, the green of the trees, the lush energy, and plus obviously crystals are of the earth. They are of you or of your person if either of you are earth signs, which is very cool. And you've also picked the Thelema Tarot, which is like an earth tone, which is like a beautiful golden brown. So that's also beautiful. So I always think of like green and browns as earth tones and um, being in nature. And then coins, which of course are finances, which are very important to earth signs. So, or you guys may have picked this pile just because you were drawn to it and you and your person are not earth signs, but we will definitely look to see what are they, what are their thoughts of you today? What are they thinking about you? So I'm going to shuffle the Thelema Tarot and we're going to get a little look-see at What's going on between you and your person? Hi, my darling. My cats and Aries. All three of my cats actually are Aries. I did not plan it that way. I wouldn't have planned it that way, <laughs> but it happened. It just is what it is. Okay. So, all right. We will put my gorgeous little Malachite over here so you guys can see it. And I'm going to face these cards so that you can see them. I started doing this recently and it's worked out really well. Um, well, I'm filming this actually um, probably about a month before I'm airing it. So recently I've decided to do this, but some videos you would have seen recently, I have would have not have done it in yet. <laughs> so, all right. 
So we're pulling some cards and then we're going to channel them. I feel like I have room for one more row. There we go. All right. So we have Ace of Swords, the Chariot, Ace of Coins, Four of Wands, King of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Sun. This is really great, you guys. Okay. I love this for you. So for the Ace of Swords, I feel like your person is starting to become very strong and brave. I feel like there may have been a very important conversation that you and your person have had lately, and that has started to progress this connection along. Um, I feel like your person definitely is very decisive and sure about wanting to move things forward with you with the chariot. If there is some sort of geographic distance, then they want to close the gap here um, with the chariot. I also feel like that whether it's physical travel or just metaphorically progressing, that your person is very determined to want to do this. I also get they want to give you a financial offer. The Ace of Coins is very similar to the necklace here, which is very beautiful. So I love with this card here that they're wanting to like extend an offer for you. So I feel like they want to come to you and they want to give you something tangible. They want to give you something real. The Four of Wands represents a commitment or a marriage or a strong partnership. So this is beautiful. And even in the card, you can see the two doves flying above overhead, like the two of you flying together, almost like the chariot moving forward or even flying to each other. Because in the card, they're actually flying towards each other. So they're two souls who are free. And so they are thinking they want a relationship where you both are free, but united. So I think that that's beautiful. Then I get the King of Swords, which is, I feel like your person is very logical. Okay, my darling, my darling, my darling, my darling. I need you to stop. Okay. <laughs> um, with this King of Swords, I feel like your person is somebody where they're wanting to make like strong, logical choices. Um, also, I feel like your person wants to be like a best friend to you. Um, it does seem like there was something they had to leave behind or they had to stop doing something. The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. So I do feel like that there was an ending or a completion or something that needed to... Oh, I know why. It's my fault. I have a dress that has these little thingies. And this is like a cat toy for them. So actually, let me move him so that we're not distracted during the reading. And that he's not going to get in trouble. Because he's going to get himself in trouble. Alright. I gave them all catnip toys. So... <laughs> Let's see if that works. We just had to distract them. We'll see how long we can get away with it for. All right. So after the painful ending, something changed in your person where they really had some realizations because after that I get the sun. So either they stopped doing something or there was an end of a cycle or something came to a completion or something ended and that left the two of you really happy sitting like in this field together happy. <laughs> so I feel like that is amazing. So your person really is like very decisive, wants to take action moving forward for you to give you some tangible offer of commitment. They are like a best friend to you as well as they're being so practical and logical about this. And there's something that they ended or that had to come to an end so that you guys could be happy together. And that is awesome. So now we're going to get some more details and we're going to see a little bit more information. So I get nine of wands. Yep. Good. I get the four of coins. Love it. I see what's happening. I get the knight of coins with the ace of coins. Oh, okay. I get what happened. Um, four of wands, king of fire, queen of fire. I mean, yeah, obviously. Okay. King of Swords, Eight of Swords, yep. Eight of Coins, Ten of Swords, yes. And the Sun, Death. Okay, so that's great. What I see for you guys basically is I feel like your person was moving really too slowly and you probably got fed up and you left and then they were like, wait, 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 and they didn't want to lose you and they chased after you because you are their like fire gorgeous, like, you know, amazing person they want to keep that is so attractive and, and awesome. So basically what happens is you guys might have had a fight or there may have been, or you may not have even had a fight. You might have just been like, I'm just done with this. Um, because I get the nine of wands, which is like the battle is over. 
So it seems like there were words had between the two of you and then the battle was over. It seems like the chariot moving forward is because the four of coins, they were holding on to security really tightly or they were trying to go play it safe and then they didn't want to lose you. So they wanted to hold on to you. And then I get the knight of coins, which is like they were trying to give you this tangible offer, but they were just so slow with maybe getting there that you were probably done. I get that this knight of coins, which is them just moving like, like a turtle, so slow. And that when it comes to commitment, they were trying to get there and they were building it, but they weren't getting there really fast enough. And they might have even have been like tied up or trapped or restricted and or not moving forward very visibly at all. Even if in their mind, they thought that they were doing it, building it, because they felt like with the eight of coins, they were trying to build it. But then I get with the, the death card, I think you were like, nope, and you were done. And then I get the queen of fire, which is, you know, not only are you like, I am this strong, attractive person that's amazing and they don't want to let you go. And they're like, I have to have you. I have to have you back. But also you're kind of like, bye, peasant. <laughs> I think you were kind of over it for a minute there. So, so there is, there is that. So I feel like that really the details are that now they are really coming forward towards you, but faster. And I feel like there needed to be a change in this connection because otherwise it might have been too stagnant or it might not have been enough of a catalyst for them to really like move forward for you in a way that was like appropriate and necessary. So that's cool. Now we're going to focus on the fairies and get some more information about like what's their thoughts are of you today. Okay. Mm. Okay. Oh, good. Hmm. All right. So this is interesting. It thickens. Okay. So it does seem like your person wants to move into a new home or live together with you or improve your living situation together. So that is something that is awesome. I also get the daughter card. So I also feel like your person may have thoughts about having kids with you one day because it does connect with pregnancy here. Also, I feel like your person may have been a little nervous to get pregnant or to get you pregnant with the pregnancy or a little nervous to have kids because that is connected to that eight of swords restriction. So that would represent like birth control or resisting um, sex that could lead to pregnancy or, or impregnating sex. Um, I get a healing healed healer. So I do feel like that your person is definitely healing from the situation that just happened between the two of you guys. And I get the emotional healing and the healed healed healer. So there's definitely a lot of healing going on in your person and in this connection. Also, I get the practice, practice, practice. So I do feel like, again, they're practicing and doing some research in regards to like how to have beautiful relationships about maybe how to change or be more, basically like how to have stronger relationship skills and how to have, like how to progress a relationship timely, <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. So they're kind of researching and learning about and they're healing from situations that have gone on and they're really trying to figure out like, how to be a good partner and, and how to really progress the relationship. And they might be learning about relationships. All right. So for the romance angels, I get soulmate. This is how their thoughts are of you today. I get unrequited love. I get getting to know each other. I get calling in your soulmate. So here's soulmate twice. I get express your love. I get chemistry. And I get 
pay attention to the red flags. So I feel like your person is probably still a little bit cautious. I feel like they're getting there. They're faster than they were. They're definitely getting there better than they had been, but there's still probably some like room to, to grow. So I love the two soulmate cards first off that I get for you guys. So I do think that this is really, really good. So with calling in your soulmate and soulmate, they definitely feel like, and you both, I think, two soulmates. You both feel like you guys are two soulmates coming together. You guys are those two birds flying overhead, those two doves flying together. So you guys are both two soulmates coming together, and I feel like they definitely know this. In the past, you might have felt like this love was unrequited, or they may have felt like you had more feelings for them than they had for you because they were still trying to get to know, okay, you know, oh, I know, I can't, uh, mama, I know you have catnip now in your system. Can we go now? You're ruining my spread, please. Ruining my little spread. Can we please get down? I know you're so playful. <laughs> All right, so she messed up all the cards, but you know, <laughs> I did give them a catnip to, to leave us alone, so I figured that might not last forever. <laughs> but basically what I see is we don't have to have them in piles, I remember. So we'll just kind of do this. All right, so what I see for you is the two soulmates coming together. I feel like the part of when there was, because they are a slow moving horse and they weren't moving forward quickly and they may even have been stuck or stagnant at some point. I do feel, like before the ending, um, I do feel with the unrequited love and the getting to know each other, that they may have, like, if you said I love you and they didn't say it back, or if you were, like, expressing your love a lot and they were, like, not replying in return, I feel like it's because they felt like they were still, like, trying to get to know you and they weren't at that level yet. But because they have, you know, done a lot of this healing and there was that painful ending, I do feel like they feel a lot more comfortable now to express their love than ever before. So I do feel like that is good. And I feel like absolutely what they've been able to express for you has been chemistry. So this is great. Um, so I do feel like the chemistry between the two of you is really good and really awesome. I'm straightening the cards because this is an earth sign pile and I'm sure there are some Virgos watching. And so I apologize in advance that my cat messed up the cards and I'm sure that like your desire for everything to be straight and perfect is probably triggered right now. <laughs> so there we go we'll try to it's still not going to be perfect you guys sorry about that and also sorry for the lint on the necklace holder because you could probably see it even though I tried to darken the video enough to hide the white lint but I have three cats so I don't know what you expect from me <laughs> anyways and I was like oh man I can't have lint on an earth sign pile there are Virgos in there I know that they're watching <laughs> so anyways um I do get the pay attention to the red flags. I feel like the only reason why they were going slow, well, there are a couple of reasons why they were going slow, but one of them is because they were just trying to make sure that this was like the right relationship for both of you. And they were trying to see if there were red flags that they needed to be careful of. And if they did find red flags or they did find like incompatibilities or pieces in this connection where there was just like, you know, incongruency or like where you guys just weren't fitting. I feel like they may have been a little overly cautious, maybe even overly perfectionist, or overly trying to make it really like all work and come together and all that. So that's kind of what I feel like they maybe were going slow because of, or there may have been another situation that, that was like taking up their time and their attention, like work or something like that. And I feel like that whatever was restricting them is over. If they were in a third party relationship, it seems like they, must, they will have left it by now. So if you, if that applies to you guys, then like that painful ending or that ending was necessary. Yeah, I get paralyzing fear and cold shoulder. So I feel like they were very scared to lose you. So they may have actually, you know, because they were giving you the cold shoulder, they were very afraid to lose you. And that's where they needed to like make that ending in their life so that you guys could be the sun. That's where they had to be that death so that you guys had the sun. So I want to see what they're thinking and feeling about you now. So let's see. And I know there was initially seven piles, but I've consolidated them. All right. So I get the poetic justice. 
So I do feel like they think that this connection is balancing out. They want to be fair to you. They want to be able to really show up for you. And they want to be able to, I always look at justice as a Libra card of commitment. So I feel like they really do want to give you a commitment in this way. Because I do get happy ending. So I do feel like they would like to have a happy ending with you. And I feel like today their thoughts of you are that they would like to have a commitment and, an, and, and a happy ending with you one day. See what happens next month. This is the card of the fall. If this is coming up end of July, beginning of August video where I'm airing it, the fall is like very soon, not too far away. Also, Virgo month of September may be important for you guys because that is the earth sign month in the month of the fall or in the site season of the fall. So there is this. Um, if you're on the other side of the world, you might have fall being a different time frame. But when the leaves are changing colors or when they're supposed to be more the autumn month for you guys, seasonally is a time where I feel like this connection will, will progress and that will be better. So I do like this for you guys. Um, and that's also going to be when they're expressing their love more. Now, obviously, this time is a timeless reading, so you may be watching this at a different time period. But I do feel like that with the fall, um, that this energy can be really good. Um, literally on the chemistry card, I get pure seduction. So there's so much chemistry in this connection here. And I feel like that, you know, they really see that, especially with the Queen of Fire card that came out with like how gorgeous and attractive you are and how you're like, I wouldn't say they're fantasy. Fantasy is more watery. I would say you are their like, their like object of carnal desire. That's a good one. Uh, their physical pleasure. That's a very earth sign. Sensual physical pleasure. But it's a fire. So, it's sensual physical uh, pleasure on fire. And it does seem like they had a sudden realization. So, that sudden realization card is good because I get pay attention to the red flags. So, I feel like they had a sudden realization. Like, okay, you know what? Nothing's going to be perfect. We are going to have to pursue this if, or we're going to lose pile two. And I feel like they definitely had that, that realization. So that is good. And I feel like today they're having a sudden realization of wanting to have a commitment and a happy ending with you and the chemistry you guys have. I think they're like, gosh, we have so much chemistry. We, I mean, I've been building this over time. I've been going really slow. Maybe I've been too cautious. I need to take action. I don't want to lose them. So it's kind of like that energy. I want to get a little bit more details now with this Von de Siecle card deck. So what are some more details? Yeah, the child comes up again. So again, we got son and uh, we got daughter and we got pregnancy. I get unexpected income, happy ending. Um, I know you earth signs, either you or your person definitely needs finances and coins in order for you guys to feel comfortable and safe, especially to progress a romantic relationship. Yeah, I get message of concern. Maybe you or them messaged each other like, hey, we've really got to figure something out. Otherwise, we can't keep doing it this way. Um, I get pure seduction with official person. Yeah, definitely one or both of you are a person of authority. Um, maybe even dominating or liking to be strong. Um, I would say that if one or both of you are the earth signs, that you guys would be the official person. Um, so the earth sign in this connection or both... If both of you are earth signs, then yes, that's actually a great combination. If two people are earth signs, that's a great match. But I would say that the official person is definitely the one that's the earth sign. And I feel like, yeah, great fortune. Good. Good. I like this. I feel like the sudden realization they had was that they were very fortunate in this connection. And what are they doing? <laughs> Why are they being silly? So I love that. So that's very, very good, especially with the, um, the coin that you got. Um, now I want to see with the Hermit Tarot, some of their thoughts about you today. Ah, there is someone else, but there is someone else is on child. You might be liking a single parent. You guys might be liking somebody that's divorced or widowed. I feel like for you, there is someone else might be their kid. And that might be why they also went really slow. So that will pertain to some of you, but not all of you. But I would say that someone else might be their child or a child. Um, but for others of you, there is someone else is very much closely connected to we, I think we should see other people. So I feel like for some of you, 
I don't feel like your person is still in a relationship with someone else. But if they are, or if they want non-monogamy, like polyamory, then that might be something that you might want to think about, like, is that a match for you? Now, again, this is just a very specific message for some of you out there, not all of you, not most of you. Um, I know you from somewhere is, is there, and the message of concern is there. So I feel like for them, they may feel like, wow, you really remind me of one of my exes, and that makes me nervous. That makes me a little concerned. Um, I feel like for you, for them, they may have looked at that as the red flag, and then throughout getting to know you, realized that you were, no lo you were not like their ex, or you would not treat them like their ex. Or there's enough differentiation between their ex and you for them to be able to separate it enough to be like, all right, pile two is their own person. Let's focus on what the connection between us to you know, only is. Um, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? So I get official person. I feel like they want to feel more secure in this connection. They want to feel like things are more guaranteed. And then I get my life started when I met you, which also I'm getting you guys might have met each other when you guys were younger. So I also get there is that because of the Six of Cups card. I know you from somewhere. So you guys also may, this might be a connection where you guys knew each other when you were younger and now you've reconnected when you're older at this time. And the uh, Ten of Swords might have been the ending from when you guys knew each other when you were younger to now. Um, for some of you, if you guys have resurfaced in each other's lives, there may be a third party or maybe there was a third person when you guys reconnected and now they had to leave them to be with you. So there is that. I don't think they want to actively be dating other people now. But if they are, that might be why they haven't been ready in the past. And you may want to see how long would you like to wait. But that's only for people that know that your person is dating. I don't feel like that's going to pertain to most of you. But if it does, you would already know this. So for Ocean of Emotion, to see how their feelings... Oh, okay. Here's a very specific message for only a few of you. Some of you guys might be thinking about or entertaining a threesome. Um, what's interesting is the connect... Now, again, that's not going to apply to most of you. But for some of you, if you guys do enjoy bringing an extra third person into the bedroom, what's interesting is there is someone else, and I think we should see other people, is connected to sexual let's play and wild. So they may actually just have like a sexual kink where they want to maybe bring a third party into the bedroom, or maybe you want to bring a third party into the bedroom. So there may be just like sexual play that involves a third person. That's not going to apply to all of you or most of you. Um, I get the, I know you from somewhere innocence. So I see that for this situation that they know you from when you guys were young and innocent. So I do feel like that this is a, maybe even a, an ex, this might be a past relationship, or this is someone that you dated when you were younger and now you've been reconnecting. So I get tame. If I asked you to stay, would you leave? I feel like also that they may be thinking about today, how can they go from like a sexually wild connection with you to something that's more traditional and stable and tame? You know, like if you guys have been in just a dating phase and you guys have been dating each other and other people and you guys are thinking about making it more serious or locking it down, then they may also be thinking about how do they leave their sexual exploits behind so they can be serious with you and tame with you. And then I get the weak card when it comes to my life started when I met you. So also I feel like when you guys met, when you guys were innocent and weaker and younger and, you know, and everything, that they're stronger now. And that, you know, if they have grown up and matured from the time when you knew them before, there may need to be adjustment period for you to be able to see them for how they are now instead of for how they used to be. So there is this. All right, you guys. Well, thank you for bearing with me through all my crazy cats and all of my fun cards. I hope this resonated with you. If it didn't, feel free to pick another pile. Also, if you picked this pile because you or they are an earth sign for a coin energy, and you or they are a different sign, you might wanna check out another reading um, as well. So let's say they are an earth sign, but you are a fire sign, you might wanna pick out the fire sign pile, which is the wands. If you are the earth sign and they are, say, a water sign, you might want to pick the chalice pile or the cups. 
So there is that. So you may want to, you know, cross pile uh, in that way, or you might like your coin pile reading. And if this did resonate with you, then feel free to leave um, a comment in the comment section. Maybe leave a coin in the coin section for that you've um, watched this or a money money symbol in the in the comment section. Um, hopefully you guys like this video, and if you did, I'd love for you guys to give it a like. Um, or to subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed already. And if you want to hit the notification bell, that will get you guys um, all the notifications of my future videos where I have a lot of them coming up, which are going to be really fun. I'm filming in France. I'm filming in the Caribbean. I might even be able to film in Boston and New York for you guys as well. Um, I think I've also filmed in San Diego by this point, but um, that is planned for next week. So we'll see if that happens. <laughs> um, we will see. But anyway, and I hope you are going to be soon, very soon, enjoying all of my Beverly Hills, Hollywood, Sunset Boulevard, all those fun kind of Los Angeles videos. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great night um, or day whenever you're seeing this video, and I hope this helped you for your person. Uh, stay tuned. I have lots of videos up, and I'm coming out with a lot more. So I will see you soon, and until next time, take care. Bye. Hi Pile 3, welcome to your reading today, which is the Minor Arcana of the Tarot, which is so fun. I love this idea because, um, just so you guys know, when I was studying astrology and tarot all those years ago, um, I always felt like they were two separate things and I didn't know how they were connected. But what I love about, about the tarot cards is especially with this amazing tarot card maker, <laughs> uh, artist, Ciro Marchetti, is he started incorporating astrology signs with the tarot card meanings, which is amazing. So I started realizing when I started working with his cards about the connection between astrology and tarot, and that was what really fascinated me. So with this reading today, um, cups or chalices in the tarot cards are water signs. So you or your person may be a water sign or have strong water sign um, elements um, in your chart. So the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So you or your person may have strong Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces in them or in you. So I love the cups. And this chalice in particular, I find to be so cool. It looks so medieval. I love that there are, I don't know what there are on the side. They look almost like dragons or something. And then I love all the jewels on it. And I feel like this cup is just like, I almost even love that it, you know, is tarnished and, and everything it has a pentagram. It has the hearts upside down. It has like such cool stuff. Now you can't actually drink out of it because I think it's poisonous, but I love the way it looks and it's a very cool piece. So I'm gonna display it here for you while you watch your reading of cups, which the cups in the tarot are emotions. So water sign. Um, you also picked this beautiful blue druzy glittery heart, which is amazing. And today you have picked the um, angel therapy deck, which is very cool because water sign energy actually are not only natural psychics and natural mediums, but they're also natural therapists or psychologists because all the water sign energies are very gifted with being able to go deep. So that is awesome. So if you or your person has water sign energy, that is a strong special gift that you guys have. So, or that they have, which is very cool. Now you might just be watching this pile because you are drawn to it. And if so, that's cool too. But today we are going to focus on what are your person's thoughts of you today? And I'm going to pull three angel therapy cards to start the reading. And then we're going to go into the tarot and we're going to be able to look a little deeper to see what's going on in this connection. So these cards, these angel therapy cards usually are, it's like psychological or metaphysical advice for you from the angels in regards to your connection. So we're going to start off with a little advice, which I never do. I usually always end a reading with this if I do use these cards. 
But today I get shield yourself, and that makes sense because if you or they are water signs, my loves, then you guys might be very empathic and you might be bleeding into your person or your person might be bleeding into you. So shielding yourself is also about putting up some really good boundaries. It's also about reducing some codependency if one or both of you are feeling a little codependent towards each other or feeling maybe like when we feel overly compassionate for someone or overly empathic, which water signs are, then what can happen is we can sometimes neglect our needs or compromise our own needs because we feel bad in regards to them. We feel guilty or we don't want to hurt them or we're overly protected, that kind of thing. And if your person is feeling like their energy is harsh right now or going through some tough times or we are overly thinking about how to, to um, protect them and not hurt them in some way with our life choices, then I would say that if you shield yourself and their energies, that you'll be able to, to kind of um, have your own life. So, which is great when you want to partner with someone. I'm also getting release. So if you're feeling like there are some emotions here that are a little negative or that you've gone through a tough time or that you might need to detox or you might need to release something from the past or something like ending a cycle, I feel like for you that releasing things is helpful and good. And then I get cut your cords. Okay, so I'm getting what's going on. So it seems like you and your person may be too enmeshed or you might find yourself feeling overly connected to your person in a way where it could be detrimental to yourself. Um, so I get cut your cords, which is you might have like psychic cords attaching you between you and your person. So you might be able to like feel them all the time or you might feel like very, very connected to them in that way. And so I feel like in this, that if that's the case, if that pertains to you, then you may just want to focus a little bit on being able to have some separation so you guys can have an interdependent relationship. Sometimes people worry about cutting cords because they think, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose them. I don't want to hurt the connection. But really all this does is it just cuts away the negative connections or the codependency connections or the addiction part. But really the, the love is still there and usually it transforms into much more of a, like a healthy or a stable connection. So there's a less of a like clawing and a neediness um, going on, which is helpful. So those are some messages for you. Take that if it resonates. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, I'm going to shuffle the cards now and see what's going on in your connection. So I'm deciding to use a gentle heart tarot because there is nobody that is more heart-centered than my beautiful water babies. And I feel like for you guys, too, that with cups, sometimes they can be correlating to playing cards like poker, and they would be the hearts. So that is very beautiful. So I'm going to see how many tarot cards I can put across in one row. And I'm going to just have them all be facing you guys so that you can see. So it will look reversed to me, but you'll be able to read them hopefully from where you're sitting. It might be too far zoomed out, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see what we can do. And then we're gonna try to take these six cards and then we're gonna build upon these individual piles as messages and themes to get more information. So we're gonna look at this. So the first card coming up for you right now is I get Knight of Cups, your person being super, super, super romantic. So I feel like your person might have been very romantic lately. So I love the Knight of Cups. That's like the Prince Charming of Love. So it does seem like your person's thoughts of you today and the situation going on right now is they're wanting to romance you. They're wanting to give you a gift or they're wanting to just give you a gift of love. So this might not be like a physical present, even though it could be. It might just be words. It might just be touch. It might just be quality time. But it does seem like it's more like they want to give you something or do something or say something or be something very romantic. And I get the hangman. So they may still feel restricted or stuck or trapped in some way. So they still might not be fully available, but they do seem like they want to give you as much romance as they can from where they are. So that is good because I do get the 10 of cups and it does seem like your connection may have been going through a very happy time lately. So even if there's still restrictions in this connection or still life interfering, there is definitely still a very strong connection between the two of you and it's like the card of ultimate happiness. So I love this. So you guys make each other very, very happy and you probably have been going through a happy time of romance with them, even if 
they feel still a little stuck or not fully available. I get the three of crystals or three of wands. So I do feel like that with your person, they may be thinking about the future. They may want their ship to come in. They might be just waiting for like something to come. I feel like they're also thinking a lot about travel and I feel like that they're really wanting to, to travel with you or to travel to see you. I get the sun, which is a great card in regards to happiness and abundance. So like with the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the sun, I feel like there is so much happiness in this connection. I feel like you guys are going through a really good period. And I get the judgment. So I do feel like that your person does feel like they need to make some choices. So I do feel like they need to make some decisions, maybe about travel, maybe about um, feeling a little stuck, needing to free oneself. But it does seem like that there is definitely a lot of positive energy, though, in this connection. So that looks really promising. Now I'm going to see a little bit more details in regards to each pile. So I get the Queen of Fire. Oh, I love it. So the Queen of Fire pairs with the Knight of Cups. So they are like this romantic, you know, chivalrous person on a horse. And you are this like gorgeous fire queen with this beautiful cat. <laughs> But they do, they see you as like the epitome of beauty, the epitome of attractiveness. They see you as like so hot. And if you're the Knight of Cups in this connection, if you're the guy, or if you're identifying more in masculine energy, then you see your person as this like queen of fire, hot, hot, hot energy. So beautiful, royal, sovereign of flame, gorgeousness. Okay, with the hangman, I get the devil. So it seems like they might also be kind of hung up or stuck with a little bit of their like passions their sexuality or their work and career. So the devil energy can be they're also their shadow side kind of telling them negative self-talk or it might be that they're just focused again on career work and that's why they're restricted or they might be focusing a little bit more also on like their sexual passion for you and needing to like integrate their their sexual side and their emotional side like together they may ha still have a hard time doing them at the same time or feeling them at the same time if that makes sense um with the ten of cups the ultimate happiness card i get that they've really moved into their emperor energy they're really like decisive and it's so cool because the knight of cups is more of like a young card and the emperor is more of like really coming into their power, really being able to put action into the situation. Whereas the judgment is a little bit of like indecision, but needing to make a choice. So I feel like that your person is really coming up to this point where they are like so ready to take some decisive action on this connection. Yeah, and I get that they're really trying to manifest traveling with you because they do get the magician, which is a manifestation card on the three of wands. And they're really trying to manifest their abundance to come in. And they're really trying to travel with you or travel to see you. The sun is the high priestess. So I feel like if you are the high priestess woman in this connection, that you are very, very happy and you're going through a happy time. So you might just be watching this video out of like fun or curiosity. Like, I love my person. What's going on? Um, and um, that sort of thing. If your person is more of the emperor, they may be watching, you might, or yeah, if, sorry, if, um, if you are more the emperor energy, you might be looking to see with this high priestess what she is thinking and feeling about you or what she's thinking about you, the thoughts of you today. So it depends upon this, but I'm definitely getting like couple energy because I'm getting like the knight and the queen. I get the emperor and the high priestess. I'm getting lots of sun and ten of cups. So it does look very lovely. So I feel like they're usually pretty happy today. But they do have a difficult decision to make because it does seem like this judgment is something that might bring them sadness. So the, ten, the five of cups is sad and I feel like maybe the reason why they haven't made a decision yet is because it's a hard choice. So it does seem like you guys are going through a happy time, but they still have a hard choice to make. So there is that. I'm going to do one more row of tarot. Then I get the six of cups, which is so beautiful. So this is like the soulmate card. It represents the reuniting card. It represents like you guys are going through like a happy time in your connection where it's very sweet, very loving, very beautiful. The hangman and the devil card is knight of coins. Your person has been really trying hard though to work on their shadow self. And I also feel like your person is really hard working away. So I do feel like what's keeping them a little stuck or trapped or unavailable has been the career situation or money. 
the Ten of Cups and the Emperor is pairing with Ace of Diamonds. So your person is so happy being able to take action on you, being able to give you a tangible offer. So they're really wanting to. Now, okay, this gift that they give you it might be a gift. It might be actually a tangible gift. Um, but the tangible gift will be a romantic one. It's not just going to be like a vacuum cleaner. It'll be like, here's this lovely, beautiful, romantic present. It'll be a romantic present. Um, if it's a present, that's a physical object. Um, it might be a poem. <laughs> it might be just like a song. But it does seem like it's, you know, which are beautiful things. Um, not to say that is just a song. But I mean, it might be a non-tangible gift. It might be a you know, a song or a poem or like words. So it's something non-tangible. But if it's tangible, it'll be a romantic physical gift object. Um, so then I get three of coins or three of wands with the magician with the four of coins. They are manifesting traveling to you because they do not want to lose you. They want to hold on to you. So there is this. Also, they might be wanting to take a trip with you, but they're looking to see how they can do it in a way where they save money or where they don't spend a lot of money. So they may need to right now at this time, since work and career is so um, priority for them, they might be trying to think about how can they financially make it work in a way where they can afford it. And then I get the sun, the high priestess, and then again, another coins. So you guys, okay, you definitely are connected to somebody who might be a little more earthy or practical than you um, because I'm getting knight of coins, ace of coins, four of coins, three of coins. So there's definitely like a lot of coins in a row, especially on the devil card of career or corporate. So there is this. Um, so with the three of coins, I feel like you're feeling like with the high priestess card, like you're feeling like you guys have been able to like build something over time and that's been strong and solid, which is good. And I also feel like your person agrees with you and would like to keep building this connection with you. So that is great. And then the five of cups is the eight of cups as well. So making a decision to really leave something in the past, to leave something behind, to release and let go of any sad emotions, putting them behind you guys. So I feel like that's kind of a situation that's what's going on in this connection at this time. And that might be because I'm getting so much happiness here, but there is still this pile. And you know, cups are watery, cups are emotional. So there is still some maybe emotional stuff that needs to be left behind. Or I feel like you guys have done a really good job leaving this situation, but there may be a hard decision, which might be a little painful, that they might need to make a hard sacrifice or a hard choice in regards to being with you and in this connection. Um, I want to look now at the fairies. I want to get some information in regards to these piles. I want to also... Because I know that these piles, I'm actually building back because I want to see all the words. Except for the therapy cards. They're down there. All right. So in regards to the fairies. Okay. So this is holiday. Yeah, you guys are definitely trying to go take a holiday together with the three of fire and the holiday card. Also, think about there's a holiday coming up between the two of you where you guys can unite or get together. So there is this. Um, I get assertiveness. So I do feel like for this situation that your person is definitely like trying to be assertive at work. And that is affecting your connection in both good and bad ways um, or interfering with and helping your connection. I get the express your individuality. So I do feel like they want to give you an offer based on your individual personality. So they want to give you something that's tailored to you as a person. So that's why their gift for you is romantic because it means that they understand you a lot and they know you. So that's beautiful. And I get the healed healing healer. So I do feel like also your person is definitely feeling like there is a lot of healing that has been able to happen so that you guys, so that they can hold on to you and so that they can come for, forward for you. Um, with the sun, the high priestess, and three of coins, I get to do some research. So your person might need to be investigating or doing some research about healing or in regards to how you guys can make this connection work. There may need to be some external circumstances that they are figuring some things out about. And then with the judgment, five of cups, eight of cups, marriage. Okay, so a 
interesting particular message, which won't apply to all of you, is if your person is married, they may need to make the hard choice to emotionally leave behind a marriage to be with you because you guys are having a really happy, fun connection. Uh, for others of you, it's about they're needing to keep doing the healing because you're in a good spot, but keep doing the healing individually so that they can leave behind these painful traumas, wounds, or emotions so that they can move towards a marriage with you. So I would say those are two scenarios that are going on if you've picked this pile. So you'll know which one of these scenarios resonates with you. Because if your person is married, you know this. This is not a secret marriage. <laughs> okay. Um, then I get, and if you don't know if your person's married or not, they're not married. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do romance angels and I'm going to get some romance angels for how your person is thinking and feeling about you right now. But I do also feel that with these Knight of Cups energies and the Emperor, that they are very romantically focused on you. So that is beautiful. And I love the marriage card that comes up for you. I do feel like that's beautiful. And I do feel like your person does want to work towards being in a marriage with you, especially with the Ten of Cups card that you guys get. So that's beautiful. Or at least a strong relationship. Okay. So let go of control issues. It does seem like they might be trying to control this connection and they're feeling like they need to step back and stop trying to push so hard. Um, passion. Yeah, that's on the devil card as well. So again, they do feel a ton of passion for you. There is so much sexual attraction that they feel for you, which is awesome. Then I get give your relationship a chance. So I do feel like they would really, really like to Keep pursuing this connection with you and keep giving it a chance, especially with the Emperor and the Ten of Cups, because I feel like that you make them very, very happy. I feel like that's why they really want to hold on to you so strongly. Um, I get religious factors, so there may be some spiritual or religious factors in this connection that um, can either be an interference or a help. So there is that. Um, I get playfulness with the Three of Diamonds, High Priestess, the Sun. So I feel like that for you guys, it's like you guys have so much fun together. They really love like enjoying being with you and having a good time with you and having fun. So, so that is great. And then I get let your friends help you. So I feel like they need to let some people help them leave some painful decision behind and making a tough choice. Because it does seem like that for them, they can't do it alone. They need resources. They need some help. If they're leaving a marriage, they may think about how can they remain friends with their partner, where maybe they have kids and they need to be a good co-parent with them. How can they be on good amicable terms? Um, they also feel like maybe you are their friend and the best friend and that you can help them. So it might be that there is this. Then I see with the Stellar Energy Oracle. So some more details and how they are thinking and feeling about you and their thoughts of you today. Unexpected event. It seems like there is an unexpected event that has been happening in their life that they are still definitely thinking about. But they absolutely feel a strong bond when it comes to you. So definitely very strong unexpected event and they feel a huge strong bond with you. I feel like they don't at all want to let you go. Yes, because absolutely, with the Emperor and the Taking Action card, this is like double action. This is them wanting to move forward for you like they never have before. Um, I get hidden feelings. So with the Four of Diamonds or Four of Coins, that can also be an energy where they have been closed off or they may still be a little emotionally private with how they're feeling. Because I do feel like there is still maybe some hidden feelings that they might be having. Or there may be something hidden about this connection. Um, wow. So the judgment card is here. Also the judgment card is here. So I get the judgment call. So there's definitely a decision that they have to make. So there is that. And then on this pile, walking away, which is exactly the eight of cups energy. So like to show you, yeah, there is a situation they need to leave or behind or walk away from. Um, it may be previous marriage. It might be even just what, like letting go of the emotions from a divorce from a marriage. Um, but it definitely seems like there's definitely something they need to make a decision about, about walking away in regards to your situation. 
So I feel like your person really wants to take action on you and I feel like they need to walk away and leave something else behind, whether it's emotionally or whether it's an actual situation. There definitely needs to be something behind. Then for your Fonda Siecla cards, So I get this marriage, literally, this is so crazy. This is the second marriage card that you get. Maybe this is their second marriage, but it definitely, or could be. Um, I definitely get two marriage cards. There might also be if your person is married. Now, again, if they're not married, don't worry about it. This is not a mystery, but if your person is married, there may be an unexpected event that happens in their marriage or there may be some unexpected event that is happening, um, that is happening between the two of you so that you can move forward in a marriage together. Um, and I get strong bonds with the main female, which I wanna say that this main female is you, or if you are a man and you are strongly bonded to a female, I would say that you have a strong bond to your person. So there is that, but I really wanna say that this is a woman watching this pile or that you identify as a woman being in love with a man. That's just kind of how I feel like with this pile that it is, but it could be something different. And so, you know, don't worry about the gender. That's not, um, that's not a binding situation. I do feel like the binding situation is you and your person. Um, so there is this, I get family room. So taking action towards their family dynamics is important. And also taking, I feel like the family room in this particular deck, it can be literally like their family but also it can be about you and them in such a sanctuary together where you guys are like in their innermost, you know, part of their heart, where you are in their, you're in their living room. You are in their mind. You are in their consciousness. So you are in their like inner sanctuary of their heart, inner chambers of their heart. So there is that. And I get official person. So I do feel like for your person that they are really trying with that emperor energy and official person, they're really trying to really come into their like strength here. And I feel like they're doing a great job of it. Um, and then judgment call also relies to child. So they may need to make some important decisions in regards to kids. But what I'm getting is if your person's married and there are children involved, they're needing to make some important legal decisions about children or they're needing to make some decisions so that the children are okay. Um, or you, or your part, you yourself also might have this situation going on for you. Um, now also there may need to be some decisions about like, what do you guys do regarding kids? So you guys might wanna make some decisions about that. Um, and then I get message. So I do feel like your person is going to send you a message and I feel like your person is going to be making a decision and telling you their, their decision. Then I have for you the Hermit Tarot. So we're gonna see what they are thinking and feeling about you, what their thoughts are of you today. Okay, these wanna come out. And these are flipping out. Okay, I love it. All right, so in regards to marriage, <laughs> they, they need more time. So I do feel like they want to come forward to you, but they still do have this hangman situation. So they do need more time, but they are very, very connected to you. And there is still some unexpected event that is happening that is a catalyst to moving them forward. And I do get that you are my everything. So they definitely feel on the strong bonds, main female card, you are my everything. They are very, very, very connected to you. And then with all these other cards, I get the I think so guess. So they do think that you are their ultimate happiness. They do think they want to give you an offer. They're pretty sure with the emperor that they want to do this and they want to take action on you. And they're pretty sure their thoughts of you today are that they want to take action on you. The I think we should slow down card is on the part of them where they want to make careful choices. They don't want to jump into something and then realize they made a stupid choice or that they should have been more careful. So I do feel like that they do feel like they want to go at a pace which makes sense, which is smart and wise. Because I do get the you are right card. So you have told them some very strong intuitive messages or really strong wisdom and they're finally coming around to see that like you are right in this connection. Because ultimately at the end, they do have to walk away from that situation to be with you. 
because they're really, really, they do want you. So I do get the very strong I want you card. And then the final messages that I have for you guys right now is the Ocean of Emotion deck. And we're going to see what they're emotionally feeling for you today. So I need more time to balance my energies. So they're feeling very, very like heightened and maybe even, I want to say triggered, but this happy, but this connection is also very happy. Sometimes happiness can feel unstable to people or threatening to people, or they may not be sure, but it does seem like they need a little more time to balance everything or to balance their energies. They're saying you are my everything, but they still might not be telling you this or telling other people this with the deceive card. So that might be part of that hidden feelings where they still might be keeping something about this relationship a secret or keeping their feelings a secret regarding you, even though you do know most of it. Um, I get nervous. They are really, really excited to take action on you and they really think so. And they're really thinking today that they will, but thinking about doing so makes them so scared to take action. And that's why they're really trying to come into that emperor official person energy, but they still have that knight of coins, knight of cups energy as well. So they're really kind of in transition to maturing and really being able to like be in their strong, strong dominant energy. So it says that their anxiety is, is kind of bad actually, and they're very worried and insecure and nervous. So they really want to take action on you, but it scares them. So that's why they're like, maybe we should just go slow. Maybe we should go slow. And also, I think we should slow down. It really connects to like, I'm so busy working. So they're also like, I don't know if I can take as much action as I want to because of work and because I'm working so hard, but I really would like to get there. So I do feel like at least they're progressing and there's forward motion in this connection. Either way, even if it's not all the way, I feel like there's still tons of progress and there will still continue to be more progress. And you are right to have confidence in this connection. And with the confident card, I get that they're starting to become more and more and more confident in this connection too. And confident in themselves and confident that they can make it work. And the I want you card connects to unstable. So they want you, but that really creates a lot of instability in their life and in themselves, especially if they have to leave behind a marriage or especially if they have to leave behind all of their emotional baggage to be with you. Because I get, I'm walking a thin line between being okay and a complete mess. So they're in a really happy space today, but I do feel like they still need more time to balance their energy to really ground in a more of a permanent happy energy because I feel like that their, um, their emotions, their cups, their emotions can be a little unstable, even though their passion for you is strong. So I feel like their mood is unstable because there's still a lot of anxiety there, but I do feel like their feelings for you are unwavering. So that is what I have for you, my beautiful pile threes, my gorgeous cups or where your person is a cups. Um, if this didn't resonate with you, feel free to pick another pile or you might feel like you're a cups, but your person is a different um, zodiac sign. So you may want to pick another pile and see with uh, the other side of you guys. Or if you're, um, your person is a cups, but you are a different sign, then you may want to pick another pile. So you might want to pick a pile for the other zodiac sign of the two of you. Or you may just really like this reading because I feel like this was a very good message for you and a really good positive reading for you. Um, if you did like this, feel free to like it and um, leave a comment in the comment section. Maybe you might want to leave like some cups um, to, to show that it resonated with you or that you picked the cups pile. Um, I hope that you guys liked watching this. I would love for you guys to become a subscriber if you want to. I have all sorts of videos coming out that are amazing because I'm going to be filming while I'm in France and filming while I'm in the Caribbean and filming maybe in New York and Boston as well. And I probably have already filmed in San Diego by the point you're watching this video, but we'll see. Anyway, I have so many videos coming out that are awesome. So please hit that notification bell so you get notifications of when I come out with them. And if you do want to have a special request, about knowing between you and your person. Feel free to uh, leave that in the comment box as well and I will make a video for you guys about your situation. So until next time, I hope you take care and I definitely wish you a lot of luck and love between you and your person and I am sending you all of my best wishes. So I'll talk to you soon, bye.
Hi, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading today. You have what you're watching my Minor Arcana uh, video where we're asking what are your person's thoughts of you today? So you have picked this gorgeous selenite sword. And what I love about this sword so much is um, selenite. One, I love that it's made entirely out of selenite. It's also very good for cutting cords if you need to cut cords. Um, it's also really cool because swords represent air sign elements. So you or your person, they might be an air sign. So a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius, or they may have strong Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius signs in their chart, or you might. So this is for my air signs here, or you might just be drawn to this pile asking about you and your person. So we'll just look to see what's going on. What are they thinking about you today? Um, you also picked this gorgeous angel wing selenite as well. So it might be hard to see it in this glare with this light, but I love the angel wings and you were able to see it clearly, definitely in the pick a card, um, pick a pile section of the video. So selenite is supposed to connect you with like angelic realms. I love how air signs, it's like up in the air. So selenite is definitely like a higher celestial type of crystal. So I feel like it's very beautiful. You might feel very drawn or connected to selenite and connecting to angelic energies. So I think that's very cool. So I'll put the sword here and I'll put the heart in frame over here. And you have picked this gorgeous Alchemia Tarot. So I liked picking yellow for you guys because I feel like yellow is very um, air sign energy. It's very light, it's very happy, it's very bright. It's going all over the floor. <laughs> but this card came out first and I'm going to pick up these, I'm not gonna use them. But what's interesting about these cards is the card that came out is the Ace of Cups, which is a very strong, beautiful, romantic love energy. It's also the chalice that we used in Pile 3. So also you might be here from Pile 3 or you might be attracted also to Pile 3 where the Cups card comes out, which is very, very cool. So I feel like that maybe you are an air sign in love with a water sign or you are a water sign in love with an air sign. But I love the Ace of Cups because it represents emotional new beginnings and it represents like an outpouring of romantic love, an overflowing of romance and love. And I love how it pairs with temperance, which is like, a, I always look at temperance as a destiny. So this is so beautiful. So I'm going to start to put these down here um, facing you so you guys can see the messages and I'm going to pull tarot cards to see what's going on in your situation right now between you and your person. So it seems like your person needs to get their finances together and they're really trying hard to do so and wow. So they're also, you guys might be here from the coin card pile because I'm also getting like so many coin cards as well. So I get that this romantic love is very strong between you and your person. And I feel like there's such a destiny in this connection. So I really feel like you guys have such a destiny with your person. But I feel like that your person might be going through or might have been going through a lot of financial worries and fears, or maybe fears and worries in general. Um, I get the Ten of Cups, uh, Ten of Coins though, which is the treasure chest. So I do feel like your person wants to go from like rags to riches, or they may have this situation where maybe earlier in life they had poverty and now they are coming into money. Um, they might also be really working hard to get their treasure chest and to get their financial abundance so they can be in a connection with you because I feel like not only do they want to be financially set up well, but they want to give money and offer money to you. But I feel like for you, you're the queen of coins here in this connection. And I feel like you already might be wealthy or you might already be in like a good spot financially because I'm getting with queen of coins, you're kind of in your money sitting pretty and they may feel like they need to catch up to you. So there is this. And now we're gonna look a little bit deeper and get some more information in regards to your person. So I get the eight of, ace of cups, which connects to the emperor. Um, they are going to try to take action on you so strong, so passionately, so determined to take action on you. So that is so beautiful. 
and I get with the destiny card temperance I get the eight of coins so I do feel like as a destiny the relationship is supposed to be more secure and solid or is going to really be having some more secure solid energy in it um, I get the ten of wands paired with the five of coins so they are really 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 committed to overcoming their fears and anxieties and they are very very committed to I want to say um, just to pursuing you so to this connection in spite of their fears so I do feel like they feel like you guys have like a soul contract together especially because I always look at temperance and ten of wands as like you guys have a purpose you guys have a purpose of something that you guys must carry out or have to do in this lifetime so not to say that you have to wait for them or stay here or whatever especially if you feel guided to leave but i would say that they feel they have a purpose with you and they feel very very drawn to to accomplish something with you um with this ten of coins they want to have all this money but with the tower they feel like maybe they don't have a lot of security or a lot of stability or even if they were to build money that it could crumble quickly or it seems like they have some fears in the foundation in regards to finances and money and they feel like that's a really strong message in regards to your relationship or in regards to your connection they may have fears about building a foundation in general anyway I get the king of wands so I do feel with this that it's like they're wanting to give you an offer, but it's like of passion. So I do feel like they want to like share their passion with you. And because I'm getting the emperor and the king of fire, I feel like they have a very feisty, fiery, determined energy where they're not going to let too much stop them. So they're really needing to like gather all their fire, all their bravery to overcome their anxiety. And I feel like they're really trying to do so. Um, and I get the magician, which is great with the queen of coins. You've really manifested your money and your abundance. And I feel like they're just trying to catch up right now. Now, as a third row for even more details, um, to go deep here, I get the ace of cups and the emperor. So they're the emperor and you are the high priestess here. So they're really like seeing the two of you as a power couple where you're like the psychic one and they are like the, the leader. <laughs> Um, this is again what they're thinking you may not feel this way you may think like I'm also a leader but this is their mind so this is their thoughts of you today and the situation of what's going on so I get the temperance the eight of coins and the nine of coins they are so financially focused are you an air sign in love with the coins are you an air sign in love with the earth sign because there is a lot of stuff going on here so I like this all right so I get the temperance the destiny, so much money, so many coins. Um, so they're really wanting to have abundance in their life and in general also with you. So with the ten of wands and the five of coins, I feel like they're really trying to put their anxieties and their worries to sleep with the four of swords. And I feel like getting a hold over their anxiety, and you know, I have to say, my sweet swords, my sweet air signs, anxiety is definitely one of your afflictions. Each one of the elements has an affliction or has a challenge, for air signs, you guys are blessed with the sign of the genius and also at the same time, cursed with anxiety. So you guys are definitely, and also commitment's not their strongest suit. But I feel like that when you find someone that you can have good communication and best friendship energy, you are like, I will be with you forever. So I would say that that's what makes you guys more committed. Uh, but you are free spirits through and through, either you or your person. Um, I get the four of swords so they're wanting to put their anxieties to sleep and they feel very committed to do so and they feel like that's one of the things that they have to master in this lifetime so they're trying to use their coping skills um, with their treasure chest the ten of coins and the tower feeling like money can crumble or fall away at any moment as well as relationships they also feel with the six of coin six of cups so what's beautiful is as much as I feel like money is transitory and relationships also can can fall apart at any moment they also feel like they can also rebuild it so the six of cups is about like reuniting or getting back together so if you guys were trying to build a foundation that crumbled they're gonna try to get back together also you might find that with this situation that your person with the tower and the six of cups they might be also trying to with the ten of coins really kind of restore themselves if they had a lot of money and they lost it they might be also trying to restore their money and their finances so i get the ace of coins the king of wands and the nine of swords 
So yeah, here's more of that anxiety, that stress, that panic attack, that, that anxiety is strong. So they're really trying to make you an offer of all their passion, but they have so much anxiety to do it. Or by doing so, it causes them anxiety to really offer you their passion. Um, and then with the magician and the queen of coins, I feel like you feel, again, you've manifested your money, but you still feel a little trapped or tied up or restricted. Or you might feel like all the money in the world is still not setting this relationship free or giving you the um, independence that you're looking for. So there is a little bit of that what's kind of going on there. Now I want to see more details. So I'm going to look at the fairies and we're going to see a little bit about more details about what's going on in this connection for you. So, I get express your individuality. I feel like your person thinks that who you are as a person is amazing. And if you guys are the air sign, you guys may be a Gemini or an Aquarius because that's very quirky. If your person is the air sign, you may feel like they are an Aquarius or a Gemini because I'm getting the express your individuality is very much Aquarius Gemini vibes. Very eccentric and quirky and fun. So you or they may have those elements in your chart. I get children, so I feel like the destiny of why they want to have so much money is so that they can have a family or provide for you or provide for your family together. So I do feel like that that's one of the reasons why building and having this finance, like this financial situation is like so important for them. Then I get the birthday. So there may be an air sign birthday that's relevant to your connection. So one of you or them may be an air sign. Or you might find that um, they are going to overcome their anxiety by like the next important birthday in your life. So think about your life and think about who might have a birthday coming up. And that might be a nice time frame of when your person will be able to feel a little bit more balanced. Um, I'm getting flower power. So I'm also getting for you guys that it's like going out into nature can help. And I feel like you know, going out and like picking flowers and being in a meadow or like smelling the roses is something that can help this connection. So doing things that are outside or like very youthful, things that like a kid would do. So, so seeing the world through the eyes of a child can also help this connection and can bring you guys back to like this purity that you guys had before life was hard. Um, what I love is even though there's so much anxiety with this Nine of Swords panic attack, they're saying everything is okay. So I feel like your person may just need to know that like everything's okay. They don't have to be so anxious. They don't have to be so stressed. Everything is going to be fine. Or you may need that message. And then I get your wishes granted. So I would say everything's okay. Your wish is granted. I feel like you're going to be able to get what you want. So that is awesome. Now in regards to romance angels, I want to see how they are thinking and feeling about you today with the romance angels. Past life relationship. So I do feel like that they feel so connected to you like you guys knew each other in a past life. So they definitely feel very connected. And on the children card, I get play. So with the playfulness and children and the flower power, I feel like they really want to be able to like kind of Get rid of all these adult responsibilities and just be able to enjoy yourselves like kids. I get, let your friends help you. I feel like they want to just like be friends and like <coughs> have the romantic connection, but also feel like a strong friendship. Also, I get the friendship with the aquar with the birthday. So think about like your next friends, like one of your friends, like a really good friend for you in your life or in their life. Think about when that person's birthday is. That's also an important kind of date around that time frame is when things are going to be good. That's going to be happening for you between you and your person. So I get flower power with the forgiveness and learning. So I feel like sometimes we need to unlearn some of the things that we've learned in our life that have been traumatizing or that have been difficult. And I feel like your person is really wanting to like forgive themselves and, you know, have forgiveness and that kind of connection. They may need forgiveness with you, but I don't think you guys have had like a falling out in this way. So I don't feel like that you guys have had that. 
then I get release your ex. So I get they may be also stressed about something in regarding or having emotional baggage in regards to their ex. So they may need to release that baggage or that energy and free yourself. So I do feel like they need to feel free. Also, if this person is your ex, you may need to release some emotional baggage in regards to them. So there is that. And sometimes they aren't exes. Sometimes they're just situationships. And for me, I count that as an ex. So if you guys had a situationship and now you don't, it might just also be that you guys are releasing that emotional pain or stress or anxiety from that person. Now I want to see with the Stellar Energy Oracle more details. So this is how they are thinking about you today and how they're feeling about you today. Okay. So I get falling leaves. So I do feel like falling, falling in love. I think this is very important. Also for air sign month, the air sign month in the fall is Libra. So you guys might have some strong Libra in your chart or the month of Libra is um, October or end of September. So that might be strong for you guys. And again, the fall, that's just, I'm just going based upon, you know, US, United States. But think about when the fall is for you and your culture and think about what air sign month of Gemini and Aquarius and Libra fits for you in that month because that would be an important month for you regarding your person. And honestly, it's probably Libra because I am getting poetic justice. So I am getting the fall and the scales of justice and the balance card. So Libra energy is very, very, very strong here. Shout out to my Libras. Uh, your person might be a Libra. And then I'm getting broken silence. So if you guys are in a separation right now, which I don't get the vibes that you are, but if you are, you guys would be talking again more around October time frame or more around Libra month. So I would say that they may think about their thoughts today might be maybe I'll reach out to you around Libra. If you guys air sign are a Libra, they may want to say happy birthday because that's birthday, Libra, falling leaves, fall, birthday, broken silence. They might reach out to you on your birthday if you're a Libra. Um, or they might be thinking about it. They might be debating it. Their thought today may be like, maybe I should reach out to my Libra on their birthday. Um, or if they're a Libra, they might think, wow, maybe they'll reach out to me on my birthday. Maybe I'll hear from them on my birthday. Um, I get breathe in. So I also get that they are really, really trying to like regulate their anxiety through like their breathing, through like feeling calmer and calming themselves down. And again, I get judgment call. That's a very Libra energy. So I'm getting like one, two, three Libra energy cards, four if you count the swords. And then I get the far apart. So, okay. So some of you will are in separation with your person. And so if that's the case, then I would say that you guys might um, be able to talk again around Libra month. So there is that. Let's see. I want another thoughts of you today with the Hermit Tarot. I am in so much pain. So they are definitely kind of going through it regarding this connection, especially if you guys are in separation. So they are in a lot of pain right now. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Then with the Poetic Justice card, I get Ace of Pentacles. And actually this might be the card pile where you actually got the Ace of Pentacles, or at least it was the other one. But you did get Ace of Pentacles already about them making you an offer, so that's twice. So you might again feel like around October time they might make you an offer. And that might just be an offer of peace or an offer of communication. Yeah, it might be an offer of communication. I get Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is communication and bravery. So they might reach out with swords, ace one sword. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, I get the, I want to start a family with you. And that connects to child. So for some of you, some of them want to have a family with you or would like to start that. They also would like to have sex with you. So I guess that's a way to start a family. But I feel like that's not quite what they have in mind when they're thinking about having sex with you. I feel like, yes, they want to. But also, they're very attracted to you sexually and very passionate. And I get time to ground yourself, which is true. I feel like your person has a lot of anxiety. So I do feel like they need to ground themselves and they're going to try to ground themselves now. 
Also, you may need to ground yourself because this is kind of like the your pile thing situation. So you may need to ground yourself right now um, at this time. Not maybe the second, but around now. And then what they're emotionally feeling about you today. So I get wisdom. So they're in a lot of pain, but pain can teach us wisdom. Pain can change our perspective and can teach us important lessons. So they are in pain, but they are learning from it. They are getting their wisdom. So that is good. The Ace of Coins support. They want to support you. They want to give you an offer. They want to support you emotionally, physically. Ace of Swords, illusions. I feel like that they are trying to really kind of manifest some good things in their life. I also, I feel like the pain that they've been feeling that has taught them the wisdom is helping them see behind the illusions or the fears are always saying false evidence appearing real, which is an illusion. So they're trying to see through the snakes in their head or see through the illusions that they have. Um, I do get rage, so I do feel like they might have some anger at themselves. There may be some, you know, self-incriminate, like recriminating thoughts that they, that they feel. So they might be going through that. Um, I get the strength card. So I do feel like they're, the wanting to have sex with you is very strong. It's a very strong desire in them. And then time to ground yourself is isolation. Yeah, I feel like they feel very lonely. I feel like a lot of you might be in separation now, now that I'm seeing it. Or they might just feel like, or you, this is your pile too, you may be feeling very lonely or very isolated right now at this time. So if that's the case, then my heart goes out to you guys because that's hard to deal with. So we have a slight bit more time. So for you guys, I'm going to go one more pile. I'm going to also get messages of love oracle cards from them to you before we wrap up. So other piles didn't get this. They got all those and they didn't get this one. So you guys get bonus messages, which are these. So, how do we feel for you? Play hard, and we did get the playfulness in the child card. So they do really want to like have fun with you. They want to play around with you and goof off with you. So there is that. They definitely want to laugh with you. I get stability. They really want to return to a time period where you guys were, and I'm sorry about the glare, uh, where you guys were very stable and where you guys were able to have fun together. So I feel like they want to get back to that place or they want to do that with you. And I get spiritual lesson. It seems like your person finally has started to learn some of these spiritual lessons, which is very good and I'm very glad about. All right, you guys. Well, that is what I have for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. Um, if you feel like you it didn't resonate, feel free to pick another pile. Also, you guys might be an air sign and you're asking about a different element. You might want to check out their pile too and see what happens. Or your person might be the air sign and you are a different element and you might want to check out your pile too. So I would say you may want to check out more than one pile in this minor arcana. What are their thoughts for your reading today? If you did like it, feel free to like the video. And if you want to leave a little sword or a little knife in the comment section, then we'll know that it connected with you. Um, feel free to, you know, let me know if you have any requests of videos that you want me to make for you. And I will make one based on your situation with your person. Uh, so that would be cool. And then, um, if you guys haven't subscribed already, I would love for you guys to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you guys can know when I have all my videos coming out. Cause I have all sorts of cool ones where I'll be filming in France. I'll be filming in Boston, New York. I'll be going to the Caribbean and filming there. So I'm having all sorts of fun travel this year for some reason. Um, so I want to film readings for you guys while I'm in these places so I can give to you guys and help you with your person while I'm there. And plus, how fun and cool and visually awesome is it for you guys to get like this different experience? So I want to share this beauty with you. So I, until next time, I wish you lots of love and luck with your person. And I hope that you take care. Bye, guys.